Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to solve an annoying problem that's cropped up in Vegas Movie Studio version 11. Now, this problem doesn't affect the earlier versions of Movie Studio, but definitely affects version 11. Let me show you what I mean. In Sony Movie Studio version 11, if you want to add text or a title, what you do is in the text track, you right click and you select insert text media, just like you did in previous versions of Sony Movie Studio. But the screen that opens up is going to look a little bit different. In fact, it's completely different than it is in earlier versions. But it still has most of the same features. One of the things you'll notice is the replacement tab is no longer there, and you can manually move the text around. And then to apply the special effects like outline and shadow, you come down here and you click these to open the shadow. We'll open the shadow. And once we have the shadow open, we can go in and adjust the shadow. Of course, in order to adjust the shadow, you have to enable the shadow first, and then you can make your adjustments. And this is what happens as soon as you make adjustments. It'll cause Vegas Movie Studio to crash. And you'll see this window that says Vegas Movie Studio has just stopped working. And basically the program has crashed. If you haven't saved your project, you've just lost it. This is a major problem because a lot of projects that I do, I have lots of text in them. And I can't afford the program to crash simply because I want to apply a shadow to a text. I'm going to show you how to solve that. And first of all, we have to click the Do Not Send and it crashes the program. We have to completely restart. Okay, I've restarted Sony Vegas Movie Studio, and we're going to add text, but this time we're going to add text in a way that won't crash the program. And to add text, we put our mouse pointer in the top video track. We right-click, and before we chose Insert Text Media, but this time we're going to choose Insert Generated Media, and on the Generated Media Plugin Chooser window, we're going to choose Legacy Text. And what Legacy Text is, it is the old, reliable, never crash version of the text generator that was in the previous version of Sony Vegas Movie Studio. For me, I find it a lot easier. For example, you have a placement tab where you can move things on the screen, and the placement seems to work a lot faster. You have a properties tag where you can go in and change the color of the text, and you have the effects tab where you can add a shadow, and you notice that when I add a shadow, it's not crashing the program. I can draw outlines. I can change the color of the outline. I can do deformations where I can cause the skewing and the shearing of the text. And again, it doesn't crash the program. And that's why using the legacy text generator is a better choice if you're using Sony Vegas Movie Studio, simply because it won't crash the program. And you still have some other features. You have the ability to animate, and the animate is using the timeline feature. I'm not going to do that right now. And again, to add text, you right-click, and you choose Insert Generated Media. Don't use Insert Text Media in Sony Vegas Movie Studio 11, or it's going to crash on you. So choose the Insert Generated Media, come down and choose Legacy Text, and then click OK. And with legacy text, you can get great looking text results. And you don't have to worry about the program crashing on you. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. You can find more like this at my website, www.bmyers.com, and a whole lot more 101 Tips and Tricks for Sunny Vegas Movie Studio, which we've recently updated to include 30 new tips and tricks for Sunny Vegas 11. You can find that at my website as well as amazon.com.